Good evening to all you wrestling fans. I'm the Godfather of Soul, Justin Lewis Wemmy. I'm here today to give you my wrestling history, my wrestling birthdays, pop culture, and sports for today, Monday, June 6, 2022. Let's start with some wrestling birthdays, shall we? Okay, okie dokie. Let's go with some wrestling birthdays today. Hold on, let me load it up right quick. Get my little calculator. Okay, we go with some wrestling birthdays. Okay. Hold on. Okay. The rest of birthdays, or rest of birthdays, let's see what I got. Wrestling birthdays today. Here we go. Today's pro wrestling birthdays. Here we go. Just fun load. I'm gonna wait for it to load. So just give me a real quick second. Wait for it to load. It takes a little time. It always does that. Okay, here it is. Wrestling birthdays today. Today is a happy. Twenty eighth birthday to Marcelo Camino. Today is also thirty four dress um thirty fourth birthday to dress dressico. Today's happy 37th birthday to uh, Drew McIntyre. And today is a happy 40th birthday to Chad Lale, best known for his time in the WWE ring name as Jackson Riker. And today is also a happy 43rd birthday to Shane Andrews. American Pro Wrestler currently working for Renegade Wrestling Alliance. And today is also a happy 44th birthday to Jessica Nora Priest, better known by renaming ODB One Dirty Bitch in TNA, which is now called Impact Wrestling. I know a lot of you know who she is. She's also an actress as well. And today is also. A happy 48th birthday to Anthony Bourne, Borchin Church, Richard Digg, very no more renamed Too Tough Tony. And today is also a happy 59th birthday to Anthony Norris, very no more renamed Omnib Johnson in the WWE. And today is also today also would have been the happy one second. 86th birthday to Shaki Masanaga, Masanaga Japanese wrestler. He died on July 11, 2009, and he would have been 86 today. And today would have been the 92nd birthday to Harvey Maurice Evers, um, better known by his renamed Rip Hawk. Today also would have been the happy 101st birthday of James Prudhomme, better known by his renamed Group Bernard or Jim Group Bernard. He's a Canadian wrestler. He died on July 14, 1984. And today also would have been a happy. 70th birthday to Larry Wayne Booker, very known by his room names, Moondog Spot, and Larry Lathman, who's an American pro wrestler. So I think he's one, yeah, he's one half of the Moondogs. And on November 20, 2003, he died. He suffered from a heart attack in the ring during Jerry Lawler's birthday bash show in Memphis, Tennessee. 
He was rushed to the Methodist Kent Central Hospital where he was pronounced dead at the age of 51. The coroner attributed his death to complications from diabetes and other medical elements. Following the show to the crowd, he was informed of his death in the 10 Bell Salute was performed. And the late Brian Christopher, you know, is uh, um, some of you that know in the WWE as Grandmaster Sexy, asked the fans to pray for Booker's family who had been in attendance. Booker was buried at the Zion Hill Search Cemetery in Friendship, Tennessee, while attending his funeral. Very tragic death. Now, let's go with some wrestling history today, shall we? Some wrestling, today's wrestling history. On this day in 1932, in Brooklyn, New York, at the Coney Island Stadium, over 2,000 were in attendance. Stan, Stan Claus Zabisco defeated Justin Garaldi. Charles Karinkes defeated Paul Fripinski. Carl Vogel defeated Andrew Dinoff. Charlie Metro and George Romanoff fought in a 30 limit time limit draw. Walter Every defeated Aldo Tutar. Joe Rukai defeated Mike Yam Yamnika. Oscar T. Grun defeated Tony Rocco. August Ben Kirk defeated um, Al Mixner. On this day, 1932, in Staten Island, New York, in the Millfield um, Mill 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 Arena, Herb Freeman and defeated Mestro Karinko. Ralph Wilson defeated Tiger Jack Burke. Xander Zarbo and Thrish Clay defeat, um, fought in a third limit time limit draw. Sam Stein defeated Jack Smith. On this day, 1932, in Paris, New Jersey, Jack Washburn defeated Benny Ginsburg. Roland Kirchmeyer defeated Paul Fur. Ben Kazelsnik and Harold Kentrawan defeated um, fought in a third limit time limit draw. George Hangan and Joe Kumar fought in the third limit decision, made decision. On this day, 1972, in Dallas, Texas, Fritz Meyer and Stan Stacey fought in a double disqualification. George Scott and Gene Ho fought in the draw. Billy Lyons and Brad Bastion beat Mike York and Frank Monty. Jose Lothario beat Pedro Godoy. Tommy Ziegler defeated Apache Gringo. On this day, 1972, no results available in Macon, Georgia, the Macon Coliseum, promoted by Georgia Championship Wrestling. Bob Armstrong vs. Mr. X. Jerry Oates and the Avenger vs. Rocket Monroe and Oki Sheena. Shakina, I mean, sorry. Bob Armstrong and Darrell Conqueror and Jerry Oates and the Avenger vs. Ox Baker and Ox Monroe and Oki Sheena and Mr. X. Tag Team Title Match, El Mongo and Koatiki. Koe on this day in 1982, on Memphis, t um, Memphis TV, and promoted by AWA, Greg Gagne defeated Chris Curtis, Jerry Blackwell defeated Macho Barrera, Tito Santana defeated Tony Leone, Sergeant Galloy defeated Juan Sebastian. On this day in 1982, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the auditorium promoted by AWA, Hulk Hogan defeated AWA champion Nick Bachman via DQ, Jerry Blackwell uh, and Sheik Adon defeated Ray Stevens and Baron Von Rush. Ken Pateri defeated Barry Rennigan and Zunhoff and Sergeant Jack Goulet fought in the draw. Rick Martell defeated Tom Stone. The four attendance was 4,210. On this day, 1982, the Fritz Von Erich's retirement show took place at the Texas Stadium. The ten attendance was 6,000 6, in Irvine, Texas. Andrea Giant won the Battle Slam Battle Royal. All Asian Tag Team Champions Kabuki and um, All American Badger Dragon beat Kevin B and, and Karen Von Eric and David Von Eric in reverse decision. Carrie Von Eric beat Harley Race. Fritz Von Eric beat King Kong Bunny to be, to be the American World Heavyweight title fall, fall, fall counts anywhere. Belt is returned to Bundy due to Fritz's retirement. NWA Light Heavyweight Champion El Saterio, Saterio beat Rene Guajardo. Andre Giant beat Bugsy McGraw, no DQ. Lola Gonzalez beat Irma Gonzalez. Bill Irwin defeated Ken McTell. And Spoiler beat Frank Ducey. On this day, 1982, in Stubbinville, Ohio, the St. John's Arena, over 2,000 were in attendance. Rick McGraw defeated Charlie Fulton at 1320 with a small package. Steve Travis beat Baron Wackles Clooney at 1145 with a sunset flip. And WWE Women's Champion, the Fabulous Moon, God Rest His Soul, and Sherry Martell defeated 
Judy Martin and Penny Mitchell in the best two out of three falls match at 14.45. Two is one. Fall number one, Martell pinned Mitchell at 8.50. Fall number two, Martin pinned Martell at 1.30 for the sunset flip. Fall number three, Mula pinned Martin at 4 at 4.25. Tony Gurria fought Adrian Dons for, for a 20-minute time limit draw. And Intercontinental Champion Ford Pedro Morales to beat Greg the Hammer Valentine via disqualification at 15-10 with Valentine shoved the referee into the Morales. Ivan Putsky fought Bob Orton Jr. to a double count at 12:20, when both men were brawling out onto the floor. On this day in 1982, in, at the War Memorial in Syracuse, New York, more at the World Wrestling Federation on WWE World's Wrestling Entertainment. Mike Hall defeated J.J. Dillon. Sway Hansen defeated Lawrence Sochi. Jimmy Superfly Snooker defeated Pete Sanchez. WWE Tag Team Champion Mr. Saido defeated Special Delivery Jones. And WWE Champion Bob Backlund defeated WWE Tag Team Champion Mr. Fuji. And SD Special Delivery Jones, the Strong Bro Brothers, defeated Blackjack Mogan, Johnny Ross, and Jose Estrada. On this day in 1982, at a house show in George Columbus, Georgia, promoted by Fred Ward, not the actor who died. Georgia, uh, Georgia Championship Wrestling, Chick Donovan versus Tom Pritchard, Brad Armstrong versus Pete Martin, Leroy Brown versus Mr. X, Mr. Wrestling Number Two, Chick Donovan and the Super Destroyer, Bob Armstrong versus the Master Superstar, Tommy Five Rich versus Bud but, 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 Sorry by Countdown. On this day, 1982, in Marietta, Georgia, at Cobb Civic Center. Motor by promoted by Georgia Championship Wrestling. Brad Bert Armstrong versus Chick Donovan. Tom Pritchard versus Pete Martin. Michael P. S. Hayes versus the Mass Superstar Bud Sawyer versus Kevin Sullivan. Tom Wi-Fi Rich versus Des American Dream. Dusty Rose versus Ole Anderson. And Mass Superstar by DQ. On this day in 1992, Arn Anderson. Uh, on this day in 1992, on WCW Pro on W on WCW on, on the WCW Pro on WGN Channel 9, Chicago. No results available. Iron Anderson, Enforcer Iron Anderson versus Tom, Rob Campbell. Benny Vegas versus Scott Stanley. Stunning Steve Austin, we know Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Rattlesnake versus Terry Bronson. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Nikita Polo versus Richard Moe and Tracy Smothers. Scott versus Soul, Tracy Smothers. And Larry, the legend Larry Zabisco versus Stunning Steve Austin, we know Stone Cold Steve Austin from the de show, clip from shown from WCW Saturday night. May 30th, 1992. On this day in 1992 on WCW Worldwide, no results available. Fred Blitz Freebirds versus John Pearson and Chris Sullivan. Benny Burgess, we know, was late. Uh, no, Benny Burgess, we know, was Kevin Nash versus Jane, John Kane. Super Invader, we know, was late Hercules. Guy versus Soul versus Rick Ryder and Scott Allen. Sky we know, know, was Raven. Yeah, uh, Raven versus John B. Bad, a.k.a. Mark Merrow. Ricky Dragon Steamboat and Nikita Koloff versus the Enforcer R. Anderson and Stunning Steve Austin. On this day in 1992 on WCW Power Hour um, on TBS, Stunning Steve Austin, we know Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Jerry Maggs, Michael P.S. Faye Hayes versus Greg the Hammer Valentine, Jimmy Garvin and Terry Taylor came in come in after. Paul E. James, you know, was a piece of crap. Paul Heyman fires Larry Zabisco from the Dangerous Alliance. Stunning Steve Austin versus Larry Zabisco, we know Stone Cold Steve Austin. Big Josh, we know is Doink the Clown in WWE, Guy vs. Soul, Matt Bourne versus Jim Kane. NWA Tag Team Title Tournament Control Center interviews with Brian Pillman, Guy vs. Soul, the Blinko Brothers, Nikita Koloff, and Mick Rickley Dragon Steamboat. Cactus Jack and Steam Feud Recap, Cactus Jack interview, Jimmy Bart Hardman vs. Terry, Terry Taylor, Taylor Made, we know his name, renamed WCW as Taylor Made Man. On this day in 1992 on WWE Superstars, hosted by Vince Piece of Shit, Vince McMahon, and the late, great Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, WWE Hall of Famer. This show included an update segment showing footage from last week's WWE Superstars where Nails debuted and brutally attacked the Big Boss Man. featured a promo from the WWF Championship on, on June 13, 1992. Included Gene Oakland conducting an interview with Papa Shango, in which he caused Black Goo to begin dripping from interviews jacket sleeve. And Papa Shango said, Ultimate Warrior, you have stepped into my black circle. And that circle 
is closing on you. Ha 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 Oh, let me take my time right here. Let me take my time right now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give a sip of water. Okay, and then, Intercontinental Champion Brett to hit my heart to be a jobber Tom Stone via submission at 155 with a, with a sharpshooter. During the, break, the heartbreak hit, Shawn Michaels and Sensational Sheriff cutting the insert promo on Brett hit me in heart. And then that's the boys with Jimmy Hart to be a Rigo, Reno Regans and Major Tates at 151 with Sags. And Yates following the running power slam, flying elbow smash combo during the bout. Higher energy cutting into fun with the nasty boys. And the Texas tornado carry by Eric Pin Mike Collins at 122 with a uh, tornado punch. God rest his soul, carry by Eric. During the bout, Von Eric cutting into pro promo, picking David Dirk to win the WBF championship next Saturday. Then the Brubbly Brothers with Eugenius feed Mike Samples and Scott Bailey at 240 when both pin samples following the head spike in the beginning of the bout. The Revelies took a toy, took a toy LOD shoulder pad from a kid, very cruel, in the front row and painted LOS on the front to stand for a legion of sissies. Before putting it on back on the kid after the bout, the Revelies painted Sample's face as well as LOS on his chest before putting a mohawk wig on his head to make him look like World Warrior Animal and uh, and to add further insult, took the same to LOD shoulder pad away again and put it on Sample's. Crush defeated George Anderson via submission at 128 with the head device. The um, high energy Owen Hart and the Birdman Coco be aware to Kato and Kevin Kruger at one at 229 with Owen Pin Kruger following a missile drop kick off the top as from Coco as Owen held him in the air during the bout. The Nasty Boys and Jimmy Hart cutting an insert promo on high energy. Repo Man defeated Jim uh, Repo Man defeated Jopper. Dan Robbins via submission at 136 with the crab, half crab during the bout. Repo cut an instant promo on the bridge pulled out David Boy Smith. After the bout, Repo high tied his opponent and dragged him outside, dragged him around the ring. Then we go to, then on WBF Superstars, the same old shit with Vince McMahon promoting the shittiest WBF championship event on pay per view. Then on this day in 1992, on WCW Saturday night, on the match card, no results available. Johnny B. Bad versus Mike Thor, Ricky Dragon Steamboat, and Nikita Kolov versus Diamond Dallas Page, and Richard Morton, the Super Invader versus Jason Knight, the American Dream, wait, the Natural Dust and Rose versus Rip Rogers, and WCW TV champion defeat of Arn Anderson in a 2 out 3 falls match from a lot off from the fight from the date was 5 20, May 23rd, 1992. Probably at a house show in Chattanooga, Tennessee, I believe, yeah. On this day, 1992, on Smoky Mountain Wrestling in Harlan, Kentucky, at the Carwood High School, Ketha Guerrero pinned Joe Kanzana, Dixie Dynamite pinned Dutch Mantel, Tim Horner and Robert Gibson defeated Jim Golden and Buddy Landell. Um, Smoky Mountain Heavy Wrestling, Smoky, Smoky, Mountain, Red Heavy, Smoky Mountain Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Brian Lee defeated Dirty White Boy. And Stan Lang and Tom Pritchard, brother that piece of shit, brother love British Pritchard, I love you, defeated Johnny, the Rich Brothers, um, Johnny and Davy Rich. On this day, 1992, at a house show of 3,700 attendants from by the World Wrestling Federation in Omaha, Nebraska, at the Civic Auditorium, Texas Tornado Carry Bonner defeated Barry Horace, self proclaimed Mustafa, we know was the Iron Sheik, crushed via Skinner, Repo Man defeated Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Ho! Earthquake defeated WWE Tag Team Champion IRS. The Ultimate Warrior defeated Papa Shango. Uh, El Mador, or Native American Tataka defeated Rick DeMar Martel, Rick DeMar Martel via BQ. Earthquake defeated WWE Tag Team Champion IRS. WWE Tag Team Champion IRS and Intercontinental Champion Bret the Hitman Hart defeated the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. On this day, next night, two over 4,500 attendants in the Boston Garden, Boston, Massachusetts, formed by the World Wrestling Federation, now WWE, World's Wrestling Entertainment. Jim Powers defeated Brooklyn Brawler at 9 12. The Mountie defeated Sergeant Star via countout at 3 31. Nails defeated Virgil via submission at 6 08 with a choke. And WWE champion, the Macho Man Randy Savage, defeated Rick Flair with Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning via 
reverse decision player will originally win the match in the title at 1547 after using a foreign injured object given to him by her perfect. But the decision was reversed when Dave Hebner came out and told the referee what had happened. El Mad or Tio Santana became Kato at 1349. Young Checker with Paul Barry pin the Berserker with Mr. Fuji at 752. With the tombstone after about Fuji was tombstone. Legion of Doom, the Rogue Warriors defeated the Beverly Brothers with Genius. At 827, when Rogue Warrior Hawk pinned Blake after Rogue Warrior Allen threw his partner on top of Blake for the pin. On this day in 2002, on WWE SmackDown, Included the revolution that Nitty was the one who had been sending the hurricane letters over the previous weeks. Featured the on screen debut with Jamie Noble after as he attacked the hurricane backstage. Included the on screen debut with Linda and Miles and Jack Day, in which Vincent Mann made a match between Linda and Ivory for Velocity. Featured the jury detecting Maven in his hospital after finding him with Tori Wilson. What a jealous man he is. Triple H and Hulk Hogan co won the 20 man battle royal at 1814. And both men hit the floor at the same time following a Triple H clothesline. Order of Elimination Baruch by Devon Dudley via backdrop. Devon by Triple H. Billy Kimmon by Tesla Boot to the face as Kimmon stood on top apron. Val Beans by Christian. Christian by Hulk Hogan. Randy Owen by Kurt Angle via backdrop. Al Snow by Chris Jericho via a forearm blow as Snow stood on the apron. Lance Storm by Mark Henry via clothesline. Cal Chavo Guerrero by Henry via Gorilla Press on to Storm. Hurricane by Angle after avoiding the choke slam. Hugh Morris by Angle by or via clothesline. Angle by Albert by Angle as Albert attempted to eliminate Hardcore Holly. Henry eliminated by falling over the top. While we're lunging at Angle for Stella over the unchecked apron by Holly, by Holly, by, Holly by via, boot, boot, via boot. By Hogan, Hulk, Jericho by Hogan by Test by Triple H. The match was determined the number one contender to the world title who would face the King of the Ring at the King of the Ring, face the unchecked at the King of the Ring in 2002. After about a one on one bout was made by Mr. Man. For the later in the night between Hogan and Triple H. Billy Gunn and Chuck Palumbo defeated WWE Tag Team Champions Rico, Rikishi, and Rico in an elimination match to, ring, to win the titles at 4.05. Rico submitted a wrist lock to from Palumbo at the 24 second mark. Rico, Rikishi pinned Gunn with a diamond cutter at 1.459. Palumbo pinned Rikishi with a jungle kick after Rico interfered with it and hit a spin kick on his partner. During the cover, Gunn pushed Rikishi's foot off the top rope. Kate caught King of the Ring qualifying match. Val to be a Christian at 322, avoiding the unprettier and hitting a suplex to a power bomb. Kurt Angle defeated Hardcore Holly at 659 with a rollover and grabbing it into the ropes for leverage after about how Holly dominated the brow with Angle by hitting the Alabama Summit and using the ring bell as a weapon. King of the Ring qualifying match. Chris Jericho defeated Edge and via forfeit when Edge was unable to compete due to a shoulder injury sustained during the previous week's steel cage match against Kurt Angle. During the segment, Jericho attacked Edge and further injured the shoulder by laying it across the steel ring steps and smashing it with a steel chair before Val Venus made the save. Lance Storm pinned Billy Kidman at 244 with a super kick after warning a clothesline. Triple H pinned Hulk Hogan. With the pedigree at 643 after kicking out of the leg drop after the match, Hogan brought Triple H back into the ring to shake his hand, and both men were and both men posed until they were attacked by Kurt Angle and the Young Checker. Stipulation stated that stated the winner like stipulations stated that the winner would challenge the challenge WWE champion the Undertaker at the King of the Ring. It was this was on Hulk Hogan and Reese Archives. And that was one of the best moments in WWE history with Hulk Hogan and Triple H shaking hands. That was one of the best moments, in my opinion, and one of the best moments in WWE history. Hulk Hogan um, becoming a graceful, was a graceful loser. Graceful loser shaking, shaking, um, yeah, that would, it, it, um, they put, um, shake, you know, shaking his hands and then both had the pose, pose in the ring. That was called, that's, that was, that was, that's one of the greatest moments. That's one of the greatest moments, and that, that was one of the best moments in WWE history. Triple H was the better man. 
the Hulk Hogan lost, and and, 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 and it was and, and Hulk Hogan show Triple H um gave the trip um show gave um was they show Hulk Hogan Hulk Hogan show Triple H with a lot of respect. They shake them, they both of you shake hands. That was that was the epic, epic, very epic best. And on this day in 2012, on WWE NXT, featured Josh Matthews and Max Dragon subbing for Will William Regal on commentary. Included Did You Know a Did You Know graphic, which read WWE superstars have granted more than 5,000 wishes with a make a wish in their Circle of Champions program in the past 25 years. Tyler Reeks defeated Jay Uso at 502 with an overhead carry, in, carry into a DDT after crouching Uso. On the top rope, prior to the bout, Jay, Uso, Jay was escorted ringside by Jimmy Uso. Percy Watson pinned JTG with Samoan and dropping 16 6 13. Tamita pinned, pinned Natty with Samoan drop splash off the top of 6 23. Tamita, the daughter of the late Jimmy the Superfly Snooker, and the Natty, the daughter of the late Jimmy the Anvil Nyhart. Tyson Kidd and Justin Gabriel defeated Johnny Curtis and Heath Slayer at around, at around the 12 minute mark. When Kid pinned Curtis with a flying net breaker off the top as Gabriel held Curtis in the air. Then we go in the house show, followed by WWE's Rain Extension Rod, Major of Spain, in the gallery, Vista Gallery, Vista Gear Palace. U.S. Champion Santino Brell defeated David Lontung and Jack Swagger. Alice Ryder defeated Kurt Hawkins. The U.S. Champion Layla defeated Beth Phoenix. Johnny defeated. The Big Show, Tensai, and John Laryngitis in the handicap match. Mason Ryan defeated Michael McGullock, who was known as Curtis Exel, the son of the late WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hannon. WWE Tag Team Champions Kofi Kingston and Zack Ryder sub for WWE Tag Team Champion R Truth defeated Primo and Epico. And WWE Champion CM Punk defeated Daniel Bryan in Street Fright. Now let's go to some pulp culture for today. Wait, let's go to some sports. Sports. Um, on this day in 1982, Game 5 of the 1982 NBA Finals continued. In the spectrum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the attendance was 8,364. 8, Back in Philadelphia, the Sixers took their frustrations on, took out their frustrations and destroyed the Lakers, 135 to 102. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar held to six, just six points, a career playoff low thanks to the spiritual release of Daryl, spiritual defense of Daryl Dawkins, God vs. Soul. In the midst offensive explosion, Daryl Dawkins also contributed 20 points and now rebounds to, to the effort. This was the Lakers' most top, top lopsided playoff to de defeat to up this time. It was Eclipse when they were routed 131. 92 by Celtics in the clinching game six of the 2008 NBA Finals. So Lakers won. So, so Sixers won 135. Lakers lost 102. Now let's go with some pop culture. On this day in 2002, the I believe the yeah um the 10th annual the 10th annual MTV Movie Awards were presented on this day. In 2002, hosted by Sharon Michelle Beller and Jack Black, and featured performances by the White Stripes, Kel White Stripes, Kelly Osbourne, and Eminem. Oh, it was the 11th. Sorry, it was the 11th annual MTV Movie Awards. My mistake. I was, I was said 10th. My mistake. It was the 11th. 2002, MTV added four new categories, but their winners did not appear in the TV show. Favorite line, best cameo, best dress, and best music moment, the best song. A musical or best musical performance category disappeared, and the best dance sequence category returned. Best screen on screen duo and bet and became best on screen team. And that and uh, let's see, um, is that it? Let me see. EC. Hold on, let's see if this is it. Let me see if this is it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all I covered for today.
So um, that's all I have to do for all of you today. So subscribe to me, Justin Fleming. I have to um, go uh, do my go to um, join the um, talk show raw radio with uh, Jerry G with the um, with J um, Jerry G J Jamalmo. I'm a little late. So um, hit like and comment in the video. I'm the Godfather of Soul, Justin Lewis Fleming. I approved this little video message. That's my little wrestling history, wrestling birthdays, um, my little sports and pop culture for today, for Monday, June 6, 2022. I'm Godfather of Soul, Justin Lewis Fleming. And I know that Monday Night Raw is going to be a shitty show tonight. So hit like, make a comment in the video. Subscribe to me. Peace. I'm out of here.